Here is how to customize heads in Blender for miniatures. I got this idea from Brussy Boo on Instagram. It was how to create a new helmet and head design from files you find on sites like Thingiverse. There are a couple of ways I do this, and both methods require zero sculpting skills. One way, and honestly my favorite, is to simply clip objects into each other. In this example, I want to add a visor to this beaky helmet. I brought in a model with a visor and separated the visor from the old head. To do this, you can select the object, go into edit mode, and with everything selected, press P. Then, separate by loose parts. Sometimes the way the model has been made doesn't allow you to do this. You'll either have to cut out the piece you want, or find a new model. Then, delete the parts you don't need. Select it all, and join. Joining groups the object. You can separate by loose parts again if you want to ungroup to edit something. And then, drag over all the cool stuff. Here's another example using the same visor and some goggles I made with some simple shapes, which you can download for free on Thingiverse or Cults 3D. Clipping objects into each other like that can really elevate an already cool sculpt you have and to help create variations in your units. You may find a helmet you like, like this Iron Man helmet, and want to add it to your minis. In theory, you should be able to scale the object down, join all the parts together, and fill the object. I tried cutting a flat surface, then selecting all the edges with Shift plus Alt and clicking, and then pressing F to fill, but I was having a nightmare trying to get this to work. If anyone has ideas, please let me know. Sometimes helmet files also come with a filled version of them, so keep an eye out for that. But an alternative way to do this would be to find a bust of whatever character you like. Busts are made to be printed already. So, just cut off the head you want, scale it down, and you're good to go. You may be left with a floating head and no way to connect it to the body. To create a neck joint, import a cylinder by pressing Shift plus A, going into Meshes, and then selecting Cylinder. Then do the same with the sphere. Cut the sphere in half and place it at the bottom of the cylinder. This is a really simple neck, but it's also a good starting point if you want to get fancy with it. Combining both methods can create some really awesome results. Here's a weird fishman head I made from separating the back of the head and fins from one of Indignant Shrew's Tidehunter helmets, and scaling down an angular fish lamp that is supposed to be nailed to a wall. Just because an object is huge doesn't mean it can't be shrunk down to size. Then I just added some eyes with some simple spheres. Kit bashing in Blender is sort of like playing with Legos, only the Legos aren't physical and you can phase them through each other, so I guess it's not really like Legos, but it's fun! I hope that helped! If you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave them in the comments below. Alright, bye bye